What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, two-time heavyweight world champion, currently the WBC newly crowned heavyweight world champion, Tyson the Gypsy King Fury, was on an American radio station to talk boxing, and he was on there with one of the biggest personalities in radio, former number one NFL draft pick, future Hall of Famer, Keyshawn Johnson. And if you know anything about Keyshawn Johnson, you know he's never short on words. And Keyshawn Johnson never holds his tongue. So when asked, they asked Tyson Fury, what's his top five heavyweights? Top five boxers currently. And he placed himself at number one. Keyshawn Johnson interjected. And Keyshawn Johnson stated, what if I tell you you're not number one? So Tyson Fury responds to Keyshawn Johnson by saying, on what merit do you have to say that I'm not number one? And Keyshawn Johnson says, listen, I truly, truly want to place you at the number one heavyweight in the world. The number one boxer in the world. He says, but... I feel like you have to prove yourself more. So Tyson Fury states, prove myself. I'm the longest reigning lineal heavyweight champion, right? He says, I've been a lineal heavyweight champion for five years. So Keyshawn Johnson states, that's all good. But what if I tell you your career and your resume is packed with tomato cans? Now, obviously Keyshawn Johnson is an NFL football player superstar, number one draft pick, and future Hall of Famer, right? So one could say, what does Keyshawn Johnson know about boxing? So Keyshawn Johnson states, well, what if I tell you your entire career is packed with fighting tomato cans? And Tyson Fury responds by saying, well, you can say what you want. Your opinion is your opinion, but the facts are the facts. I dethroned two reigning heavyweight world champions that had 10 successful title defenses, the only other person to do that is Muhammad Ali. I dethroned Vladimir Klitschko in Germany in his own backyard, and then I went to the United States and dethroned Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder in his own backyard after he successfully had 10 title defenses and was the WBC heavyweight champion for five straight years and was undefeated. So Keyshawn Johnson says, I feel like you still need to prove yourself. Tyson Fury responds, I don't have to prove myself to anybody. My resume speaks for itself. Then the other uh, co-host interjected as it started to get heated and he uh, uh, deflected and changed the subject. But with that said, uh, a lot of people always talk about Deontay Wilder's resume and the lack thereof top level opponents on his resume, right? And a lot of people always talk about Deontay Wilder never faced anybody. Keyshawn Johnson also stated that he believes Anthony Joshua is the number one heavyweight in the world due to his resume, due to being a two-time unified heavyweight champion. Now, when Keyshawn Johnson says that, I have to respond and say, well, Tyson Fury is a two-time heavyweight champion as well as uh, uh, Anthony Joshua. And if it wasn't for Tyson Fury going on his hiatus after the Vladimir Klitschko fight, he would have had to go through that being Anthony Joshua, go through Tyson Fury to become a champion, period. Or Deontay Wilder, because Tyson Fury was unified at that time anyway. And so with that said, Tyson Fury in his entire career, outside of uh, um, Steve Cunningham and Derek Sosora, the only other guys on his resume is Deontay Wilder and Vladimir Klitschko. Now, that was, those are huge feats. Those are huge feats. So you just can't say, well, the only guys. No, because that's huge accomplishments. So I have to say that Tyson Fury resume is not as star-studded as some of the guys in the smaller weight classes, right? But he does have a guy like Brain, uh, um, a guys like uh, uh, Derek Sosora on his resume. Uh, he does have Steve Cunningham. Now, Steve Cunningham was a cruiserweight that went up to heavyweight, and he dropped Tyson Fury. And one can argue that the referee, he was treated unfair in the fight, and Tyson Fury 
uh, knocked him out using an illegal tactic, and that shouldn't have been the case. But nonetheless, he beat Steve Cunningham. He beat Derek Sosora. He beat Vitamin Klitschko. He outboxed Vitamin Klitschko. And then uh, he got a draw with Deontay Wilder, and then he got a stoppage victory over Deontay Wilder in their last fight. So you can't completely dismiss his resume. The thing is, in between those fights, Tyson Fury does choose to fight guys that you never heard of. Like Tom Swartz, no disrespect to him. Like Otto Valine, no disrespect to Otto Valine. Right? But Keyshawn Johnson was having none of it. And Keyshawn Johnson says that he believes that Anthony Joshua is indeed the best heavyweight in the world. And he feel like Tyson Fury needs to prove himself some more before placing himself as the best heavyweight in the world. But he absolutely went in on Tyson Fury. And you know Tyson Fury is not showing on words either. I wish that Keyshawn Johnson would have had more information to ask Tyson Fury about the situation with the gloves. Not too many people in mainstream quote-unquote media have the knowledge of this glove situation and the situation with Martin Carefoot and the wild boar meat. See, these are the questions that I wish would get asked. And so we can see the response from Tyson Fury. Questioning his resume when you're Keyshawn Johnson, a football player, is not going to cut it. It's just not going to cut it. So Keyshawn Johnson had a point as Tyson Fury does fight a lot of tomato cans in between. No disrespect. I'm not calling them men tomato cans. He fights a lot of B and C level fighters. Right? But I, the real question is, what about the guy I'm on care for in the wild boar meat? And what about this glove situation? What's your thoughts on that? It should have. That's what should have been asked. And how freely he used the N-word singing along with his children on his birthday. These are the questions that needs to be asked. But because of the sport of boxing is not mainstream media worthy, because mainstream media does not cover the sport of boxing, so they don't deem it to be that worthy. They only cover it when it's a mega fight on deck. That's it. They don't cover it day in and day out. So they don't know the gifs and the ins and out and the little things that's taking place within the sport of boxing. They have no clue. But as far as Tyson Fury resume, he doesn't have the worst resume in the world. He doesn't have the best resume in the world, but he doesn't have the worst. But he does have Vladimir Klitschko and Deontay Wilder on his resume. Now, the thing with Deontay Wilder is an asterisk by it because we know in the fight it was on an even, uneven playing field. But now the trilogy will be on the even playing field. So now he wins the trilogy, then you have to give him his credit. But as of right now, I can't give him credit for beating Deontay Wilder in the second fight because it was on the uneven playing field. Because we clearly see that these gloves had no pattern in the knuckle area. And in the first fight, we see that the left glove was flapping around. So there's an asterisk by that second fight. Until we see the third fight play out, I can't give him full credit for that Deontay Wilder fight. Point blank and period. And in the first fight, the referee said that he gave Tyson Fury the benefit of the doubt and every chance to recover because he was a former champion when he should have been waved off and should have been a knockout. But let's see how everything plays out and how this trilogy match plays out December 19th. But uh, that's all I got for y'all. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.